Who's your guest picker between these people that spent time in Baton Rouge? Shaquille O'Neal, Stormy Daniels, or Alex Bregman? Musso, who you got? Yeah, no, Shaq's number one on my list now that I, that I realize he hasn't done it. But I did Google and Elvis did sing no, White no, Christmas. No, no, it's, it's Stormy Daniels. Um, mm, tough loss from Nick there, if Elvis didn't sing. If he did sing White Christmas. Um, I, I, I Look, I'm... I, I'm <laughs> my trio are Shaq, Lil Boosie, and... Or four. I say Shaq, Lil Boosie, Britney Spears, and John Goodman. Those are my only four acceptable ones. Golly, those are my four, too. And, and I would actually flip the order on that a little bit because I don't think a Shaq is... Well, that was no that was no particular order. Okay, no order. All right, because I, I would say John Goodman would be my number one pick. That'd be a good one, too. I still want, just for the, just for the kind of... Middle finger to the rest of the country. I still want maybe a little Boosie first, but John John Goodman would be second would be on my list. It a great middle finger. The get here would be Britney Spears out of your pack because she's been tied up in all types of legal stuff out in California. Yeah, with like I looked up a little bit power more. Power of she's authority in, and money. That whole and thing. Her, her dad. dad was in control of stuff. Gave it over to someone else. He's taking it back in January. Britney's in a bad way. She's he's taking it way. back in January. Yeah, he's gotten like surgery. So oh, bad way for Britney. Uh, all right, next question up. We support you here on OTB, Brittany, in case you ever want to come on the radio and talk about it. <laughs> Please. Hashtag OTB mailbag with the revival of Saved by the Bell. Who was your TV crush? Mine was on Saved by the Bell, and it was Kelly Kapowski. Tough to beat. Was my number one. Um, I mean, I used to love Lizzie McGuire. Um, big Hillary Duff fan back in the day. Topanga Lawrence, 100%. Oh, absolutely. Can't Great call. Going to be very transparent with the fans here. Rachel Ray had a crush on Rachel wow. Ray. There you go. Oh, Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, speaking yeah. of right. women on cooking a woman show, that can cook? Uh, what's the Italian girl, Gianna Delordinitis or something? Whatever oh, her, her last name is, she is super fine. When I was her. Hashtag OTB mailbag. After five games, is there a position that you need the Saints need to specifically address in next year's draft? Uh, I was so I, I was really pouring over this, and the shocking part is there are no glaring weaknesses right now on this Saints team. Like Eli Apple's contract is expiring, Good so with their second wideout. Uh, I, you know what? Okay, that's great. They, they, there's an area that you could still get stronger in. Um, I, I they have loved to build secondary through the draft recently. And like I said, now they may think about bringing Eli Apple back. He's having a good year. It depends on the price. But um, there's no great answer. Sure, I guess, I guess wide receivers as good of an answer as any. I would have maybe said tight end, but it was nice to see what we didn't talk about. Uh, it was nice to see Jared Cook yep. finally have some success when it mattered on Sunday. Anything from back there? Uh, draft Joe Burrow, make it happen, give the people what they want. I agree with that. I mean, love I love that. it. Love who, that. Who All in. Who down? Um, hashtag OTB mailbag here. What do you want to do in retirement? I want to travel. I'd love to just travel. All no, over traveling would be the thing. I would love if I had enough money to open up like a funny shop, like a shop that's not going to make any money, like a lingerie store called Carl's. Like wow. that'd be hilarious, and you could also afford to do that if you have a bunch of money. You're like the type of guy that used to have the shocker, that old prank where you have the shocker when you go to shake people's hands. What are you it looking for, lace? Zings him a little bit. Follow Welcome me. to Carl's. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> We got a smoke room on the back, got a coffee shop back here, and then lingerie straight ahead. Travel Legos would be the great kids in the corner. But isn't it just kind of depressing that just because of how our world works, the time when you have to travel is when you're already old yeah. and like you're not yeah. gonna, you know, it's not like the young when you're in your twenties and you're meeting up with the locals because you're yeah. getting hammered at some bar and then you're sneaking off to do drugs with them and you end up making a lot of friends that night. It's a really good time. They bring you to a bunch of local spots you've never yeah, been more before. Who are you, you on you all of my vocations? Uh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, it's great. That's it, but but as you get older, I wonder if that's still there. I don't know. Yeah, it would. It will be terrible to travel. I guess in retirement, just get to the hotel and take a nap. <laughs> I'm so tired. Oh yeah. man, I gotta chill for a minute. Hashtag OTB mailbag. Describe your perfect breakfast. Um, it's easy. Uh, delicious sausage and cheese biscuit. Mm. No, I'm the same. I want a. I want a good breakfast. Yeah, like I'm all sandwich. American. I like two eggs over easy, bacon, hash browns. Even some, my bread type is where it gets a little because I could go biscuit, but I, mm. I prefer toast because I like to use what? the toast to put everything yeah. on the plate yeah. on the bread. Yeah, so one bite biscuit. and to clean out the egg uh, yolk. The biscuit, I, I, yeah, well, the egg yolk is on the toast with yeah. the hash browns with the eggs, yes. and then the last bite is just a clean sop of the entire plate. Exactly. Go, Except go, the uh, bread, but the the better sop. Bread is the biscuit over the toast. Debatable. Debatable. Give me a, give me an all-star breakfast bowl. from Waffle House. Debatable. Also, watch Put Phantom Thread for a great breakfast movie. Huge breakfast. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just want to throw that in there. Be random. Is that also, a spooky season? Very, very depressing. No, not spooky. Very season. spooky. Um, Put it on the poll. 
Nick, toast versus biscuits. Mm. Where for you sopping. Going? For sopping. For specifically for soaking up the egg yolk, sopping. what is superior, toast or biscuits? Uh, hashtag OTB mailbag. This one's specific for T-Bob. T-Bob, can you break down LSU's run game? Yeah, so I watched um, the Utah State game very closely yesterday. They were running into some extremely light boxes. That said, it's still too many times. Their LSU going into that game was last in the SEC in yards before contact. Um, the fact that they had a successful rushing game despite that, really a lot of that is Clyde edwards Elair. I will say this, though, man. The potential of Emory and yeah. Davis Price. No and Elair, too. I don't mean to take away from Elair because Elair is already there. He's already playing spectacular. But there was one play where Emory cuts it up the field, mm -hmm. and it's just like, ooh, it looks a little different. I think that Ed Ingram um, showed excellent body control. I think he's going to help in, in, in the run game. Mike. Yeah, watch your mics back there, boys. And um, now, one, one, I, I was a little disappointed in D. Lou at times. The tight end position could maybe use a little work, but it's it's not in a terrible space. It's just hard to judge. Let, let's see how much rushing success they have this Saturday against Florida. All right, Nate, this one's specifically for you here. Hashtag OTB mailbag, especially after the high you're riding on Joker the last 48 hours. Going to line up and go see it for a third time over the next day or two here uh what movie would you like to see remade most i would love to see the thomas crown affair get a remake with steve mcqueen okay, nice. that's really stylish i feel like nowadays you could get if brad pitt was in the steve mcqueen role that'd be so fun that'd be so fun which movie least would you like to see be uh remade <laughs> they're talking the about, one that they're talking about they're talking about remaking the shining and oh. i just don't want to see that oh, okay well i don't want to see that even though so that's not dr sleep which is the no. Shining sequel, which goes some Even directions. Still, I, I saw a preview know. for that. I don't know about Dr. Sleep. No, bro. I'm not feeling that. Not either. if you're going in expecting The Shining, because it looks like, nothing it's like The, the Shining. of The Shining. So it, there, it's a sequel, and I don't know about that either. I, I, I would say this. Um, the other movie that they're talking about remaking, which I think is a crime against humanity, I think it's inconceivable. They're talking about remaking Princess Bride. That's ridiculous. That is wow. just a masterpiece of its time. If you, re if you remake Princess Bride, you're going to have a bad time. Anonymous user, toast every time for sopping the yolk. Jimmy Magoo, toast for sopping all day, oh every day. I mean, Justin Gore. You can lead a horse here, to Jim. water, but you can't make him dumb. Bo Wilson, biscuits by a landslide. Thank you. Anonymous user, biscuit on top of the egg yolk, sop it up, and then put tomato gravy on top of it. Wow. Jeez. Sop is That's a good idea. down for the day. I like your uh, creativity there. All right, those, tomato, are your, uh, those are your OTB mailbag questions. By the way, week. did you all ever eat... Kevin's peach jelly he made us, River's husband. Flushed it. Okay, so I finally opened it up after a few months. I wanted to let it marinate a little bit. And uh, it is un it's unbelievable. unbelievable. It's unbelievable. That is the best damn it's jam. It's the second jam I've ever gotten yes. from That's incredible. And it's even better, though. I it mean, is? like the peach, uh, unreal. <laughs> it was unbelievable. Shout I'm out to you, Kevin man. Huey. Hope 100%. you're enjoying Italy.